Good morning, Richard Eckley here. Happy Monday morning to you. Here we go for another week. And we're on a Monday, so we're on a health Monday on your four keys to a healthier, happier. And they say there's two main driving forces behind our health, if you like. And one is fear and one is benefit. They say if someone's been diagnosed, say, with a heart attack, a heart condition or cancer or some major illness, about five weeks of length of time after the process, if they have to have a heart attack, and they have the operation on the heart attack, they have the, the operation of the heart done, it's all sorted. On average, a person will carry on with the medication and with what exercises they need to do for about five weeks. Then slowly afterwards, they start to drop, in, drop back into old habits of what they did quite often, which caused the heart attack in the first place. Because it's not sustainable. Fear is something that will drive you for about, I'd say five, six weeks is the fear, fear-based fear um health issues if you like so it's something you're you're scared of you're either trying to run away from it or you're trying to avoid it so it's fear-based but benefit-based is long-term because they say with benefit-based what they found is those people that actually wanted to achieve something to become more healthier they started doing say doing short walks then found the benefit of doing the short walks make them feel healthier they lost weight they looked better so then they did more walks and made longer walks so their health increased the benefit increased and they felt better and they did more so he said actual benefit-based health is better than fear-based health well, most people work on the fear-based health is they're scared of something's going to go wrong and they're going to do something for a little bit but they find the actual thought process of avoiding something isn't as sustainable as looking towards something and getting the benefits from something so if you imagine yourself say 30 years time or 30 years in the future what age what number would you be in 30 years time and what health benefits do you want to have? What sort of person do you want to be in 30 years' time? Do you want to be active around walking, traveling the world, seeing your grandkids, seeing things? Do you want to be health-based so you're thinking, okay, the benefits of being healthy, a 30-year-old 30 30 year older me being healthy, still doing what I want to do in life, achieving what I want to go health-wise to be the best version of me, as opposed to, oh, I don't want to have a heart attack in 30 years' time. I might start something, but that's a lot of work. I, I'll leave it till tomorrow. I'll leave it till tomorrow. And we procrastinate and put things off. So if we actually realize, okay, the benefits are going to actually make us in 30 years' time actually be more more healthier than we are today. And that's something some people struggle with. They can't imagine their future as being better than their present. They can imagine it getting worse. They can imagine health being less. They can have a, imagine having more health issues in the future. But they don't think, hang on, if I actually start to exercise now, if I start to eat healthier, if I start to do what I need to do for my body to make it better, I can actually be better in 30 years' time. I can be a better version of myself health-wise in 30 years' time than I am now. By little steps, little disciplines I put in myself to move myself forward. So in 30 years' time, I'm still walking around, I'm still healthy, I'm still traveling, I'm still seeing, I'm still seeing my friends, seeing my family, seeing my kids, seeing them grow up, walking them down the aisle, doing so many things. Because the health issues I started to develop, the benefits I started to get from them, moved me forward to improve them. So every step I was improving my benefits on down the road. And in 30 years' time, you're well, you're well away. As opposed to the, the fear-based one where you're thinking, oh, I don't want to do that. But the actual discipline of doing something isn't as strong as the want to just stay in your comfort zone and, and carry on with the old habits. So thinking benefit-based improvements in your health are so important. It's more sustainable and it's more of a way to move yourself forward because you feel the benefit and then you can improve it again. And that way it just continually grows on what you already built. Just build it up and have you go. There we are. Have yourself a good one. All the best for now.